Shalom and welcome back to the YouTube channel of Pastor Paul Shofar Maker. And now here I have a Sable Sable Shofar Video 1534 Triple Extreme Size T. Let me see T X T R Triple Extreme Size. Yeah, and uh, already completed with a menorah there. Yeah, and a slight engraving there. Yeah, so the uh, this uh, triple extreme size is uh, anything measured after 43 inches right up to 44 inches, and it's crafted from a um, 46 inches, yeah, length oh, sable horn. That means there's another two inches here that has already been cut off so they can tune it. So it is measured around the curve here right up to the tip here yeah so it is uh, measured at 43 anything 43 after 43 it's 44 yeah so this is a triple extreme and it's a humongous of a uh, saber yeah it's, it's you see the show the horn this way it sweeps backwards from the head here because there is two horns yeah the other one is already sold off so this is the one that is still here so as a uh, you has a uh, seen this sofa. The colors is uh, towards the mouthpiece is a dark on its color, yeah. And then moving on, we see that the colors changes to different shades of a uh, olive green color, yeah, from a dark olive green color to the lighter olive green color, yeah. So, and the uh, it's a full natural finish sofa, so you can see all the greens there. See that? Very beautiful, awesome shofar. You see that? You don't see this style of uh, these are sizes of a uh, sable antelope horn that often. Yeah, so you can see that. Beautiful, yeah. All the grains clean out nicely. Yeah, for you to actually get an idea of how the horn looks like but in the wild you won't be able to see it so clean you will probably have a lot of oil and mark on it so we have cleaned it out nicely for you to see so you can see that awesome awesome beauty a humongous saber so far so we're on the reverse side dark onion color and also the same thing here, you see the uh, shades of uh, dark olive green color to lighter olive green color, you see that? Yeah, some might call it uh, brownish, chocolate brownish, coffee brownish, but I call it the uh, different shades of the olive green color, yeah. Because olive, uh, it has a different, different type of olive, a different type of uh, ripeness. So you can see here, from here. Beautiful. Yeah, and you see here, a chunk of it has been uh, knocked off, whacked off in the uh, challenging for alpha position. So when they clash, some parts of it will be peel off. Yeah, whack off, I call it. Yes, fly off. So this is the mark of a uh, battle scar, uh, antelope horn, uh, sable antelope horn. Yeah, so you can see it further on. Beautiful, awesome, yeah, awesome. See this side, over this side, and the angle of it. We clean up very nicely for you to appreciate the uh, horn in its nature, natural state. Yeah, natural state, of course, I say it is much more dirty, yeah, but this has been cleaned up nicely for you to appreciate. Yeah close again you see the greens yeah better scars and all yeah and uh, this is the uh, bell side which is also a very humongous big bell here for this sable shofar now piece of it done so all things being said and seen let's hear the sound let me just uh, roll off backwards so that i can get the whole shofar into view it's a huge shofar Wow, awesome.
awesome sweet low G sound the tone is beautiful awesome yeah let's hear from after the low G let's listen to the other, the other tones <coughs> <coughs> So there is a <coughs> low G, basic C, middle G, high C, high E, and a high G, six tone for this shofar. So it has three octaves of G, two octaves of C, one high E. Yeah, and uh, you come out, six tone for this particular shofar. Awesome shofar. Let's hear the, the running notes of this shofar. Running notes. How about the sound? A six tone. Awesome. Saber, Saber Shofar <coughs> in video. 1534 triple extreme size. And uh, it's huge. I gotta keep backing off so they can be captured. Yeah, you see that? And uh, as it is, you can hear, see the horn sweeping back. Yeah, and it's longer, it's sharp. This will protect against the lions and the hunters. Yeah, in the in the wild, they will hunt these sort of animals. But then, if you come from the back, this is what you're gonna meet. Yeah, usually it's back. So this saber has a very strong protection of itself. Yeah, being a face backwards, protect against attack from the back. So. As you have seen this particular video, one, five, three, four, triple extreme size, do give us a thumbs up, a like, yeah, because it helps us to change the uh, exposure in the YouTube algorithm because we will get more exposure by you just giving us a thumbs up. Yeah, we really much appreciate that. And also besides, subscribe, Click that notification button for our constant posting of shofars and shofars related matter. Yeah, and uh, share. Share with our friends so that they can get the shofar somehow, somewhere, and join into the worldwide network of shofar blowers, wherever it may be. For we are calling out right now. Come, O oh Lord, come. Maranatha, Lord. Maranatha, come, O oh Lord, come. For we see all the, the uh, many of the uh, revelations coming to pass and one of the great ones that we see is listening is the Euphrates River dries up. Awesome. Awesome. Such a huge river dries up. It's spoken of in the Bible. Yeah. So, and uh, besides that, there's also rumors of war and of war. Pestilence, floods, disaster, earthquake, one by one. Not that it has not happened in history, but it has ha it's happening more commonly now. So, what can we say? Come, O Lord, come. Maranatha, Lord. Maranatha. Unless the Lord comes, how can the world survive? Yeah, this is what the Bible says. Yeah, so we call out Maranatha, Lord. Maranatha. Yeah. And uh, as you. Uh, Give us likes and uh, share. Remember, do pray for our welfare, our good health. Yeah, and really appreciate that. 
and as we, by, by besides still supporting us in our ministry on this uh, Shofar craftsmanship. So, thank you so much for watching this six tone sable sable Shofar. Hallelujah. Shalom.